Hey everyone, happy Saturday morning. It's Connor back here with another edition of This Week in Wax. I hope your Saturday is going great for you so far and you are relaxing and enjoying your weekend. It's the last Saturday for me before I go back to school, so I'm just really um, trying to enjoy it before the rush starts. But anyways, let's get into this week in wax. So if you're new here, welcome. So uh, in this week in wax, I show you guys on Saturdays what I've been burning throughout the week and let you guys know how I've been enjoying the product, if there's issues with the product or if I finish the product and kind of just like letting you guys know my experience with it. And then at the end of the month, which will be next Wednesday is when this video will come out. Um, on next Wednesday, I will do my monthly fragrance empties video where I will show you guys all of my home fragrance empties, body care empties, and everything that I've finished, and then give you guys the final review. But this video is just meant to show you guys how I'm feeling while I'm using the product. So, <clears throat> I do have a few candles here, and I don't have a wax melt with me. I was bur I, I was melting apple and sweet fig from Yankee Candle, a part of the new fall collection. I don't have it with me. It's in my bathroom downstairs. And then also, I was melting the soft wool and amber. So, that's what I was melting throughout the week. But then the rest are candles, which I have right here with me. Let's get into my Bath & Body Works candles. So, I burnt, uh, or I was burning this one too i was burning three bath and body works candles two of them three wicks one of them a single wick so the first one um is pumpkin peanut brittle and then the other three wick was the banana walnut muffin and i'm pretty much done with both of these this one still has like one more burn but um you guys i'm shocked these did really well they threw well they performed well um lately my bath and body works have not been doing well and mostly they end up on the crock because they give out like halfway but these did well they smell awesome the pumpkin or yeah the pumpkin peanut brittle is so good i love this one i did not expect to like it this much at first i was kind of scared when i smelt it on cold i was like mm, this is kind of weird but I will be reviewing that one next week, I believe. So be on the lookout for the review, but this one's really nice. So, and it's an online exclusive. Both of these are. So I would check them out though. They perform well and I'm happy. So those were the three wicks. Okay, then we have a single wick. I just burnt this one time in my bedroom and I picked it up at the 650 single wick sale. It is the Midnight Amber Glow. This is the new fall signature scent for Bath & Body Works 2022. You guys, this one's really, really nice. This is kind of, does it have notes? Yes, so the notes on this one are smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. Um, I really like this scent. I think it's been getting a lot of hate. But I do not get that hate. I really like this one, especially in the shower. I've been doing it at night. Um, it's really calm and relaxing. Now, the single wick, I wasn't expecting to get a huge throw from this one. I kind of just wanted it because I collect the signature scents. But I really like this one. Um, so definitely check it out. I believe that there's a sale going on today where you can get any purchase. You can get a free... Um, Fine Fragrance Mist, and then a free body cream of the Midnight Amber Glow. So go check that out on Bath & Body Works website. But that was my Bath & Body Works burns from this week. Now, let's get into a Ulta Beauty Candle. So I did pick up my first ever Ulta Beauty Candle a few uh, days ago because I wanted to check it out, and I burnt it uh, yesterday in my room to test it in here in like a smaller room. And then I also burned it downstairs in an open room, my living room. Um, this one, this one smells amazing on cold and it also did really well for throw. Um, it was really strong. I could smell it throughout the entire house. This definitely has the strength, the strength and the throw of like a good Bath & Body Works candle. So that was great. The only problem that I would say is I did get some sooting. Um, 
I saw setting right when I burnt it. I was like, oh no. But yeah, when I got, uh, when I looked over at the candle, it was setting. So this one seems like it has a pretty bad setting problem, but we will have to check it out. It does have those really thick rope-like wicks. So I don't know. I might just have to keep them really short. Also, I don't know what's up with this plastic stuff, but like this totally like burnt off and that's very dangerous, I think. So I don't know. I'm going to have to check that out. But that's the Ulta Beauty one, and this is the Crisp Apple, and the notes are Crisp Apple, Apple Blossom, and Fresh Pear. This kind of reminds me of Bath & Body Works Honey Crisp Apple. It's a really good, juicy, red apple scent. So that's the Ulta candle. Then I did burn a Homeworks Three Wick candle this week in the Roasting Chestnuts, or sorry, Chestnuts Roasting. Homeworks by Slatkin & Co. I picked this one up at Home Goods, uh, or no, I didn't. I bought this one on um, the homeworks.shop website, but this one actually did well for me. I had no burning problems. So last time, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that my three wicks from Homeworks have not been doing well. The wicks were bad. They're tunneling. Um, you know, they were like no throw. This one did about uh, did a lot better. Um, no wax problems or wick problems. This one burnt all the way down fine. Um, and this one actually gave me a bit of throw just in that small area. Like you can check out my review on it. I think that that one's going to come out on Tuesday. I filmed my reviews a few days ahead, but um, this one did a lot better than my other ones. So I did enjoy this one and finished it. Okay, then we have a country candle. So this is Kringle Country Candles Autumn Reflections. I also reviewed this one, and this one is so, so, so good. It's kind of like a nutty caramel um, autumn air, like sweet scent. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's really, really nice. I get like brown sugar and like some nuttiness. You definitely get that nuttiness, um, but it's a really good one. I got a lot of compliments. We had some people over and everyone loved this one. It was a strong thrower, no issues at all. I do need to cut those wicks, but burnt this one about halfway down. I'm gonna try and burn a lot of it this weekend and then we'll probably have to finish it next week. These take forever to go down, which I'm not complaining about, but if you want to go through a candle faster, then these are probably not your best choice. But love country candle. Could not say any, you know, anything bad about them. Just perfect. I would definitely check that one out. And you can get 15% off on your order using my code Connor Loves Candles at checkout. And more information on that and where you can shop Kringle is down below in the description box. <clears throat> And then last but not least, I burnt a Yankee candle this week. This was my second burn of this one. It is the Pumpkin Wreath. I love this one, y'all. This is the perfect, like, fall fragrance, in my opinion. It is so yum. It's kind of like a mixture of a gourmand pumpkin with a little bit of, like, an earthiness to it. I get, like, that buttery pumpkin, um, and I get, like, the tad bit of spice but it's a really sweet pumpkin with like some woodsy earthy notes, but it's not too strong. I love, this one is a lighter candle, but I like that. I don't, I think if it was too strong, then I would not like this one. If you know what I mean, like some candles are meant to be lighter, but this one's amazing. So, um, and you guys know Yankee, their, their original jars take forever, but that is what I've been enjoying. So those are my, wax for this week um told you guys about my wax melts let me know down in the comments below what y'all are melting or burning this week i love to hear what y'all have been enjoying let me know any of your thoughts on these candles down in the description box and just give me a hello or shout out thanks for watching until the end of the video and i will see you guys later like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later bye